Well, welcome everyone. My name's Joan Robison. I am the author of Flip the Switch, and I have a very special guest here, Yvonne Marlowe. I want to tell you just a little bit about Yvonne before I tell you what she's going to do for us today. But I met Yvonne about a year and a half ago, and I met her at a time when she was really struggling. And she came to our community, our morning motivation community. And I've gotten to know her since then. And for the full interview, um, I will direct you to my YouTube channel and you can see the interview and really Yvonne's more full story. But for today, uh, Yvonne is going to share three tips to flipping the switch that has really helped her not only kind of raise her you know, thoughts and feelings raise her awareness, but that she uses to continue to close the gap on fear and get her mind thinking right in the right direction for more, more around thoughts that are serving her instead of thoughts that hold her back. So Yvonne, gosh, just tell us just a little bit about yourself. And then um, we'd love to hear your three tips. Um, well, I'm a former career person. I used to work at a retail uh, grocery store in management, and um, that's when I met you. And between that and my husband and my son and taking care of the house and everything, it was sucking the life out of me. <laughs> um, now I'm an entrepreneur. I have um, four different businesses that I run, and I also work full-time. Um, my son just turned eight, and my husband and I are about to celebrate our 13th anniversary we've been How together for 19 years 13 married oh. 19 total so nice um yeah but as far as within the switch the the three biggest takeaways for me have been the breathing exercises taking mm -hmm. a few deep breaths to get grounded um get present in the here and now um i also love the gratitude because it helps me remember not to take things for granted, um, that, you know, there is beauty in everything. So definitely look for it and you'll see it. Um, and then the third one that has been probably the most beneficial for me are the I am statements. It remind me that, uh, one, I'm not the thoughts that are swirling through my head that are not serving me, that I am love, I am light, I am safe, and things like that. Just Repeating those sometimes for the entire day, depending on what's going on. Sometimes it just takes, you know, two or three times, and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, those are the biggest ones that have helped me. Yeah, and I just have to say, for those of you, again, that are watching, you know, you're looking for some simple tips that are going to truly help you close the gap on fear and elevate your thoughts. Your thoughts create the feelings and the feelings is what you send out to the outer world. Um, I know Yvonne, you have been um, using the book, Flip the Switch. Yes. <laughs> so I love yes. that. I love that she <laughs> gave you specifics from the book to help you do that. I also know that Yvonne is somebody that has really put in the effort and she took action. So she went from a real low place to today, as you can see, a woman that's running three different businesses and, you know, in a much happier place. The other thing that I notice about you, Yvonne, is you're very vulnerable and you're willing to tell people, gosh, you know, here's what I've experienced. And Again, when people allow people to get, you know, to come into their world, it helps us all. And Yvonne, you've certainly helped me watching you grow and lean into some of the fears. Even sometimes I feel, and I've been practicing this stuff for a long time, I'll think, you know, I'm not alone. There's other people that feel, you know, similar feelings. Um, you said a couple things. So the breathing. Breathing is huge. You know, it's something that we often don't think about. We certainly don't, uh, you know, intentionally just practice breathing unless we're aware 
of the benefits of breathing. So I want to spend just a minute there. You know, breathing is something drawing in breath and visualizing, releasing whatever it is that's got you hung up is super powerful. And I know, Yvonne, you do that with me twice a week on those yeah. morning motivations, <laughs> right? And then- uh, breath the forceful exhale. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> the forceful <laughs> cleansing breath gets you grounded and releasing all the toxins and stuff. Tell us a little bit about gratitude. So maybe you're in that place of funk, you know, and- do you just automatically go, all right, I'm going to just start thinking of things that I'm thankful for? What do you do? Um, well, I'll catch myself like, you know, oh, I've got so much to do or, wow, I have so many dishes that need to be washed or whatever. And then, and then I'll just think to myself, well, at least I have food for my family, mm -hmm. you know. Um, at, at least I have a full, busy life. You know, right. it could be worse. I could be sitting on the couch like, why doesn't anybody like me? I don't have any friends. You know, right. that's just a pity party. Nobody likes pity parties. Mm -hmm. So it's just something small that I can take when I catch myself going down those rabbit holes. Right. Um, of the inadequate or not enough type feeling mm -hmm. um, to just think about what I actually have. I love instead it. Instead of what, I, what I'm wanting. And what guys Yvonne is sharing right now is exactly what flipping the switch is all about. See, she's saying, I'm thinking a thought that's not serving me and I refuse to stay stuck. So I'm going to focus on the good things in my life, whatever those may be. But it's a practice and it's a discipline to practice. The third thing you mentioned were the I am statements. Now, I am a big fan of I am statements, but maybe you could give us just a little bit, um, you know, of your own experience, how you use those. What is it that you do? Um, mainly when I catch myself feeling really anxious or I have a thought that just keeps repeating itself over and over and over and won't go away, um, that's when I take a few deep breaths. And then I go into those, you know, I am safe, I am love, I am whole, uh, whatever it is I'm needing at that moment. Like if, mm -hmm. I, if my anxiety is because of something that I can't control, then it's I'm safe, I'm okay, I don't need control over this. Like right. um, I don't like that I don't need, those are the double negatives that I try mm -hmm. to avoid, but that was just what popped in my head right now. Um, so. Well, I love that. And really, again, I want to just recap. So breathing, breathing in what you want, releasing what you don't, gratitude. I mean, gratitude is a simple thing. But what I want everybody to know is you can't be in fear and gratitude at the same time. They don't, you, you can't be thankful for something and afraid at the same time. So again, another flip the switch and then the I am, ta taking something that maybe some old patterns of self-talk, you know, like I'm no good or I'm this or I'm that to, no, I am loved. I am safe. And um, again, simple tools, easy to do, but also easy not to do. So Yvonne, I want to thank you. And again, for those of you that want to see the complete interview, you'll be checking Yvonne out on my YouTube channel, and that will be up soon. Yvonne, thanks so much, and everybody have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Thank you, John.